Golf may be called a gentleman's game, but it comes with its own problems. We know it's no longer without controversies thanks to a certain civil war, but it also has its fair share of mental struggles. And why not? It's a career for the players, and they want to make sure they do it well. To get through that, you gotta have friends. Now, let's watch how Chris Pratt was that friend to Bryson DeChambeau. First off, a good friend. There aren't many golfers who can be as controversial as Bryson DeChambeau, and he just continues to break his records. The 2020 US Open winner had shown a lot of promise during his younger days, when he was one of the match's highlights. But his career at the PGA Tour is always going to be remembered for all the controversy surrounding him. It turns out all that drama wasn't good for him. Shocking, no? We kid of course, but it turns out that the situation had a very bad effect on him and he was ready to give up on the game. But famous Hollywood actor Chris Pratt was there for his friend, who counseled him and helped him reverse his decision. The player was very saddened by the state of his image in the media just before the 2021 Hero World Challenge. After the Pro-Am competition, the 29-year-old player let it all out and revealed that he was going to leave the game. He said that there was a point in time, no kidding, where he just felt like he wanted to leave. After everything he'd gone through, it looked like the talented golfer was going to give up on golf. But he was lucky to have the help of supporters around him, which included the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise's star, Chris Pratt. According to Bryson, Pratt told the player that when he does a movie and people say it's terrible and that he's not a good actor, it doesn't define him. Next up, wise advice. The golfer also expressed his admiration for the actor, saying, that he respects him and his opinion. He's got a lot of life advice from all the things that he's been through, which have been very troubling times. The eight-time PGA event winner was also grateful to the Parks and Recreation star for sharing his experience. The son-in-law of the famous Arnold Schwarzenegger, Pratt used a golf analogy to describe his terms for DeChambeau, which in the end proved successful. The golf star said that he told him when he's out on the golf course, people are going to define him and relate him to golf. But what defined him was who he was outside of the game, and that he took it as an opportunity to show people who he truly was. That's some very nice advice, we must say. And good for Chris for having his friends back at all times, especially during the tough ones when he'd lost faith in himself. So as he followed the actor's wise words and turned down the negativity, he returned to playing the game and remained an active player. Sure, he's no longer on the PGA Tour because he recently joined the Live Golf Series. And that's one more controversial thing to his name. You can't expect to live a normal life or play some golf if you're joining the Saudi-funded league, can you? Speaking of Live and the defection, they're always gonna come after you for one reason or another. But you gotta keep your head up and continue living your best life, right? That's exactly what he's doing. He said that he he's shown people that there's always another way. We all know that the sport of golf has been mostly consistent with its gameplay. It was always played the same way, with all the pros using similar techniques. But that's until the scientist, aka Bryson DeChambeau, entered the picture. He took on playing the sport his way, and in 2020, proved that his change was right when he grabbed the US Open trophy. He was emotional after his win, and also extremely proud. Why wouldn't he be? To be honest, the Live Golf Defector won six times on the tour before he jumped ship at the beginning of this year. His wins were so enormous that they blew the minds of all his fans and his rivals. He bulked up on his body and increased his strength for the match and went on to grab the win with a superb tweak to the mostly slow and monotonous sport. The player made the sport pretty fun for all of us. You gotta agree with that, even if you aren't a fan, which we'd find highly weird considering you're watching a video that's solely focused on the great golfer. After he grabbed an amazing win at the US Open, Bryson was filled with emotion after the match, like duh, and said that this is a little emotional for him because he did something different. There's also the new DeChambeau. He claimed that he'd made a lot of changes to his technique and his mindset 
and was very proud of what he'd accomplished. Why shouldn't he be? The scientist also said that he could accomplish a win while playing a completely different golf style, and it was pretty amazing to see that. He knew that in a game where everything had been played the same way for many, many years, he'd brought some change with his single length irons and a strong drive, and then he inspired the younger generations too. He opened up recently about his be the casino mindset because the house always won at the casino. He was very proud of his achievement and had started the final day three strokes behind Matthew Wolf. Then, within a blink of an eye, he was marching ahead, finishing six strokes in the lead. He said that he thinks the most important thing that he's shown people is that there's always another way to do it. He not only went on to inspire the younger generations, but also the pro golfers on the course that day. As they all watched him fly past them with his immense strength, they knew that it was a technique that they needed to add to their arsenal too. The man was changing the way we all looked at golf, and everyone was watching it in awe. But all of it isn't as good as it's made to look a lot of times. More on this, not the best decisions. Remember how the 2020 US Open champion famously gained almost 50 pounds in late 2019? and early 2020? Well, that couldn't have been good, right? Even though over the last few years, he'd become a golf sensation for his jacked physique and the devastating long drive ability it provided him. Now, after he suffered multiple injuries that kept him off the course, the eight-time PGA Tour winner has reversed his course in terms of how he treats his body. He appeared on the podcast Five Clubs, where he revealed that he junked his body bulking regimen and has now started to lose weight so that he could avoid injuries and improve his overall health. He said that he ate improperly for almost a year and a half and had begun to feel weird. His gut was all messed up, so he went completely healthy and went on a Whole30 diet. He also got a nutritionist, did blood work, and measured stuff in my gut biome. It turns out it was super inflamed, which was a pretty big red alert for him, so he recently started using a new chef and has lost 20 pounds in a month. All this came after he'd gained 50 pounds, which also helped him with his game early on when he led the PGA Tour in the average driving distance the last two seasons and made it to the final eight of the 2021 Professional Long Drivers of America World Championships. Not just that, but he also won the US Open for the first time in 2020. Let's get to the busybody. And while he looked healthy physically, DeChambeau felt anything but that internally. He ate things that weren't great for his system and things that he was also very sensitive to. It eventually got to the point where it was a little too much, and that's why he started to back off from that. Now considerably lighter, he feels revitalized as he comes closer to his 30s. He revealed that after his diet and new chef, the inflammation has left his system, and he feels much better. He's leaner now, and his face has finally thinned out too, as you can see, which he wanted. But he said that he also feels better and looks like he's in his 20s again and not 35. And now he's healthier and happier and doesn't care that he isn't playing much golf anymore because he'd gone through a bit of a content creation fever. Bryson DeChambeau is a busy person. As you know, he joined the new Live Golf Invitational Series, which only had eight events in the last season, so he should have more free time on his hands, right? And he does, which is why he's brainstorming and creating new content for his YouTube channel. Lastly, the YouTuber. While many people become social media influencers or YouTubers to make money, the scientist had some other plans when opening a YouTube channel. Apparently, he got more than $125 million from the sponsors of the golf league that he joined earlier this year. Now that he's a multi-millionaire, the American golfer doesn't need to be active on social media to make money, right? But he still does it. He makes videos showing his personal and professional life, which is a way of helping the younger generation in many ways. Well, according to him, at least, he said that he wanted to do something cool with the game of golf, which was to entertain, educate, and inspire the younger generation. He used to be a pretty huge deal in the game of golf, but 
isn't identified as a golfer anymore. He's more known as a YouTuber, and that's completely okay with him, as he says that every time he goes out to the golf course, people are talking about his channel more than his games. That's it from our side for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or thoughts about Chris Pratt being Bryson DeChambeau's savior, let us know in the comments below. See you in the next one.